creating an insert page is pretty easy. Um, what I can do is just go to my data insert uh, menu up here and um, find the insert record form wizard and then it's just gonna give me this dialog box so I want to choose um, con explore California and um, and then just specify where I want to go to after I insert so I'm just gonna go to the list page and um, what I want to insert is um, oh I'm sorry I have to also choose the correct table sorry about that and I want to take out this field the package ID field the reason why is because it's because it's an auto increment field that's um, automatically created by the database so I just want to get rid of that and then uh, then when I'm done I just hit OK and Dreamweaver will actually just gem generate this nice table for me and um, I can you know format that table if I don't want it centered which is what Dreamweaver does with it I can move it over to the left here um, I can uh, edit these labels here to make it a, a little more user-friendly and also if I wanted to I could edit the um, the format it looks like I've got everything inside an H2 so um, what I want to do is um, go into my code since this this probably just happened because I when I had my cursor there I just stuck it inside that H2 um, for this uh, insert package heading so I don't really want everything to be an H2 so I'm gonna just fix that in the code I think it's fastest that way and then I just save it and um, in order to test this I can just hit F12 and it's going to upload this to the server for me and um, and I can just type in some silly package description and package graphic and there it is there's my the one that I just inserted so I know it's working now uh, if you want to you can validate and um, the way that I can like a quick way to validate is to use the spry validation and um, I can just select that field and then just go uh, click on the spry validation to add some validation to that and um, probably the only thing that I want for this one is just for it to um, be required and validate on the blur but I could also specify maximum number of characters. This is probably a good idea because um, you don't want to try to insert more characters than the, the database will allow. But um, but anyway, if once I do that, um, it, it will create these um, dependent files in the Spry Assets folder. And when I hit F12, if it doesn't upload those, then you'll have to upload them on your own. So what happens now is if I don't enter a value, then it gives me a message there. 